Hi guys, um, I wanted to shoot and record this video for a long time. I know I may get many nasty comments about it, but who cares? Uh, the advantage of social networks is that you can share your thoughts. So, as you may know, I wrote a book about the neurocouple, which is a concept I developed based on the fact that male and female brains are not equivalent but are complementary male and female brains. Our human evolution is based on those two genders, male and female. That's how the human species developed itself. That's how it grew. That's how it conquered the world, you know? Male and female. Nowadays, people need to be non-binary. Need to be, I don't know, anything. You know, what drives a decision to call yourself non-binary? I mean, I have no problem with the fact that some people are homosexual. It's normal. Their brain is configured in a different way. They are not the majority. Did you know, by the way, that they are in percentage rate as many people who are homosexual as there are people who have red hair? That's a funny statistic. Anyway, people who need to be transgendered. Perfect, absolutely perfect, because in their brain they are wired and configured in a different way. Now, but nowadays people come out with so crazy ideas about what they are. In the morning they are a man, in the afternoon they are a woman. And then when, I mean, there's so many, so many videos about that, you know, of those guys who uh, wonder what that means. Was people so, uh, when those non-binary or whatever ask but you who you are if someone asked me I say I'm a man and they ask me how do you know that well because between my legs there is a penis you know if I ask my, my wife uh, what gender she is she is going to tell me that she's a woman because she has the physical attributes of a woman so generally speaking we are men and women we may have something in our brain that makes us a woman in a man's body or a man in a woman's body or a woman who likes a man or a man who likes a male. That's okay. These are still two genders and the human brain is configured that way. So what drives people to make the decision to be something that's non-existent? If you look at it and you see more and more, and I'm, I'm annoyed with that because uh, that's the world my children are go growing in. And I'm sorry, I'm teaching my children that there are two genders, men and women. And that's what you learn uh, with the neurocouple concept. That's how the brain evolved or stopped evolving 100,000 years ago. And you see that those people need to make it obvious that everyone knows that they have made the decision to be something different. And that difference creates contrast. And that contrast makes you noticeable makes you seen, make, makes people talk about you. Oh, you, 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 you. Because your brain makes every decision based on its self-centeredness. That's a fact. It's at the primal level. So why do you require and why do you need this attention? Why do you need to dress in an absolutely crazy way to show that you are something different, something new? You can be different, I don't give a shit, you know? You can dress crazy, that's cool, you know? But you made a decision subconsciously based on, on, on a very, very primal subconscious frustration. Because that's what's driving the decisions. Now you can say, no, Thomas, that's bullshit, blah, blah, blah. But it's not. It has been scientifically demonstrated and even some guys got a Nobel Prize for it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I'm sorry uh, for this video, which is not about how you drive decisions in people's brains, like the ethical persuader system, uh, how you can live better in your couple within your couple system, and how the brain works and all that. I just wanted to, to express my feelings and my thoughts about that. And you can rant about it, you can, you can burn me if you want, but that's the way I think. And I made a decision to make this video because I have a subconscious frustration of living in a world that's uh, going in a direction I think is a bit crazy. And my primal subconscious frustration is to keep my kids safe and make them become good people, you know, and help the world move forward to grow safely. That's it. It may be 
disconstructed, whatever, but that's what I think. Anyway, whoever you are, whatever you are, have a nice day. Bye-bye.